What's good? What's good? This is your host, Swag Boy from SwagBoy360.com. Today's episode Instagram model murdered in her own home. I guess you all heard about the Instagram model named Mercedes Moore that was killed in her own home. I'm about to play a clip. And I'm going to give y'all my take on it. Check it out. Learn new info. Story here. We have learned new information that the 33 year old social media model was strangled to death. That's according to the Fort Bend County Medical Examiner's Office. And police are also now trying to figure out a timeline of when this all may have happened and also shared with us that they have not seen any signs of forced entry to the apartment. The details still murky as to what led up to the horrific murder of 33-year-old Janae Gagnier, known as Miss Mercedes Moore on social media, with a following of 2.6 million. We want to find out why her, why him. The body of the woman was discovered Sunday afternoon inside her apartment at the Cortland Sugarland complex. According to the medical examiner, she died of strangulation and traumatic concussion in what police are investigating as a murder suicide. A second body also found Richmond police say it belongs to this man, 34 year old Kevin Accordo, who died by suicide caused by multiple sharp force trauma. We found her in her apartment uh, doing a welfare check. People haven't heard from her in, in, you know, a couple days. It was the woman's family that called police asking for a welfare check on Sunday. Gagnier's father was with officers when they made the gruesome discovery. People were asking about the relationship between her and the suspect. And at this time, we are doing some investigating on social media to determine if there is an exact cause. And investigators would not share with us whether or not anything was taken from inside of this woman's apartment. And they also tell us that the last known address for the suspect in this case is out of Florida. You know what, y'all? I'm going to keep it real with you, y'all. When I first heard about this incident... Appreciate y'all coming it, it, down. It didn't, hold on, hold I'm on. Jack Rohde. Uh, it didn't make no sense, right? Because at first... It said she was killed in a home invasion, and then it was a robbery that went wrong, and she got killed. I didn't believe that. Then other people start saying, oh, that was a sugar daddy that killed her. Here's my take on everything. It was no force entry. Anytime where there's no force entry, majority times, the person knew the killer. Majority time. The majority time, they had a friendship or a relationship. They knew who the killer was. I'm be honest with you. Now, all this is alleged, right? From hearing what happened, this got heartbreak written all over it. This has heartbreak written all over it. This is another reason why I keep telling you, brothers, you need to be red pill. Because what it seems like, this is my theory. My theory is that they had some type of relationship. Whether it was like a sugar daddy, sugar baby relationship. They had something going on. To the point where the man said, and listen, he was all the way in Florida. So he could have been sending her money, right? He knew where she lived. And you never know. She did, This is probably the first time he ever saw her. This is probably the first time they ever met. Right? It could be. We, we don't know. All this is alleged. But he was so obsessed with her. He said, you know what? If I can't have you, nobody else can. He, his emotions were so invested in this woman that it caused him to kill not only her, but kill himself. And you know what? I'm not condoning murder at all. I'm not condoning this. But a lot of you OnlyFans girls, a lot of you OnlyFans girls, y'all be walking on dangerous waters, y'all. 
straight up. I see a lot of you girls on OnlyFans. I see a lot of you other girls on Instagram. Dudes be messaging you and you in DM. You know what I mean? You be leading all these niggas on. You be like, yeah, you my bae. You my, like, the average Instagram model. Yo, I'm not lying to y'all. I'm not lying to y'all. The last, yo, the average Instagram model, look in their DMs. Look how many uh, uh, fanboys they got that just obsessed over them. Look how many uh, 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 guys who just infatuated with this girl. Hey, can we meet up? Hey, can I take you out? Hey, can you be my wife? And what most OnlyFans models do, they milk them. They milk these niggas. They milking these niggas. Now, I'm not saying stop milking these niggas. But I'm saying y'all bit y'all gotta do it the right way. A lot of these girls, these sugar babies, they get real comfortable with their sugar daddies. They have what they call inter uh, uh internet like long distance internet relationship with these guys. So that means even though they live in a different state, they be on the phone with these dudes. They be texting these dudes. They be having these dudes send them money. Wire them money. I don't know who this dude was that killed Mercedes. I guarantee you he was sending her money. I could almost guarantee you he was sending her some type of money. Where he felt entitled to her attention. See... This is what they don't teach y'all. This is what y'all don't acknowledge. See, y'all don't want to look at the dark side of being a sugar baby. You don't want to look at the dark side of having a sugar daddy. You you think it you you think it's all peaches and cream. You think, oh yeah, I'm gonna date all these guys that got money. I'm gonna lead them on. I'm gonna milk them dry. I'm gonna tell them one day I'm gonna be their wife. I'm gonna tell them I'm gonna have catty kids. But y'all think that these dudes that you milking, these simps that you milking dry don't got feelings. Yo, I'm being honest with you. Y'all might y'all might think I'm lying, but these niggas be falling in love with these bitches before they even smash. Before they even smash, they already felt to fall in love with the bitch. I'm not lying to y'all. I wish I was lying. I wish I was lying. I'm not lying. These niggas be saying, I love you. They never even met the bitch before. They be saying, will you marry me? Never even smashed the bitch before. Y'all always talking about red pill men are dangerous. No, red pill men like me aren't dangerous. It's the simp niggas like this that are dangerous. These simp niggas is dangerous. See, you 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 will rarely find a red pill guy that will kill your ass. Let me let me say that again, ladies. You see, even though you might not like us because we don't kiss your ass, even though you might not like red pill men because you feel we disrespectful. Yeah, that might be true and all, but bitch, guess what? We ain't gonna you you know we ain't gonna kill you. You know we ain't gonna kill your ass. Because if you get on our nerve, we're going to say, you know what, bitch, get the step in. Fuck you, bye. I go with another bitch. Ain't no red pill nigga about to fly or, 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 or travel all the way from motherfucking Florida to Texas to kill you. Red pill niggas don't do this. Only blue pill niggas do this shit. This is why I go hard at preaching this red pill knowledge to these brothers, man. This is why I go so hard. And guess what? You same girls, little OnlyFan girls, you little uh, uh sugar babies, y'all be like, oh, swag boy, stop talking like that. You messing up our money. See, you got to understand something. A woman only has power over the niggas that's obsessed with her. A woman only has power only over you, only if you want to fuck her. If you don't, if you ain't beat for fucking this bitch, she ain't got no power over you. Think about that. What woman has influence over a nigga that don't want to fuck her? Think about that. Niggas ain't thinking. 
she only got influence over you because she knows she makes your dick hard. She knows that you want to smash and she knows you want to smash real bad. Very bad. She knows you obsessed with it. She knows you would do anything just to smell it. And she milks you dry. She takes advantage of it. She used that to your leverage, to her leverage. But it gets real dangerous. It gets real dangerous because some niggas, well, not some, most of you blue pill niggas do not know how to control your emotions. You blue pill niggas have the emotions of a female. You acting like females when you get your heart broken. Oh, I want to kill her, then kill yourself. This nigga killed himself over some pussy. Can you believe that? This man killed himself over some pussy, yo. What red pill niggas you know doing that shit? What red pill men do you know that would do that shit? And you know, yeah, red pill men, sometimes we get our heart broken. But we like, you know what? That bitch played me. I'm on to the next bitch. Fuck her. I'm on to the next bitch. And I see you women all the time just bragging about how many tricks you got. I see you women all the time talking about don't inbox me if you ain't got no money. If you ain't got no money, don't inbox me. Next thing you know, these niggas inboxing you. These niggas hitting you up on OnlyFans, sending you money. These niggas cash apping you, cash apping you. You know these niggas obsessed with you. You know these niggas falling in love with you. These niggas will kill your... These niggas will kill you bitches, yo. A simp is dangerous. These niggas will kill your ass because they not like us. They not like me. I won't kill you, bitch. I won't kill your ass. You dump me, I'm say fuck you, bitch. You ghost me, I'm going to say fuck you. You ghost these simp niggas, you ghost these sucker niggas, they going to track you down. You ghost these simp niggas, they going to be knocking at your door. Uh, hello, you're not answering your phone. Why you're not answering your phone? That's what they going to do. I'm not doing that shit. You ghost me. I'm going to treat you like a fucking ghost. I don't see you, bitch. Where you at? I don't see you, bitch. It's safer to deal with me, bitch. Yes, I'm going to curse you out every day, but I ain't going to kill you, bitch. So in closing, you females better be careful. You know what? It, it's to the point where once you reach a certain level of sugar baby status, Instagram famous status, you bitches gonna have to start hiring security. Like straight up, like you bitches, like soon as you see you a successful sugar baby and, and, and an IG model that got over a million followers, you bitch need to start hiring the Nation of Islam for security, bitch. Because now you a motherfucking celebrity. Now niggas is stalking you. Once you see that, niggas will stalk you. Niggas will do anything to find out where you at. When you reach to a level where niggas obsess over you, you better hide security or else the worst could happen. And that was today's episode. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> and I'm going to catch you on the next go around, my nigga. Hello.